I just real. I should have done this because I have to sing. Oh, Tony must be on to it. She's the only one who knows how to do this. So you've got to have... Oh, uh, not too good, Tony. But that's enough, though. So, uh, because it's hard to sing. It's better there. Yes. Count me in. One, two, three. Uh, it's not that one, John. Don't play the chum song. I've just forgotten how it goes. Do something. What do you want me to do? Latent. Definitely latent. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait a minute. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself or pay the doctor's fee. <laughs> Brisbane Dry 23, Sydney mainly dry 18, Canberra fine 16, Melbourne becoming fine 16, Hobart fine 17, Adelaide fine 21, Darwin fine 32, Perth becoming fine 21, Alice Springs fine 26. No, 11. Oh, hello. Thank you for that. I've been just been handed something. Yes. It looks like a very badly made joint. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that. Used to that. do them better than that, Bob. Remember, remember those wonderful days at 10 behind the old OV shed? <laughs> <laughs> no, Bob and I worked together many years ago on a, on a program. I forget what it was, game show, some kind of game show. And to think that that premises will be sold and won't even exist. Similarly, the one in... Melbourne at Nutter Water. Nutter Water. What a pity. Who do you think? Do you think it'll be wrecked and sold, or do you think a production house will take them over? Let's hope. Because they're, they're probably the best, because they're the most recent. Like when they said there'll be another commercial network, we all knew death, we said. And have we hell or not been proved? Uh, but the stations are better. See, they're newer. Yeah. Well, when you think about all the blood that's been shed there, they could turn them into hospitals, couldn't they? He's, I do know, <laughs> he slept in with the knives last night. <laughs> Shout as uh, Has this been checked? Yes. Good. How many sources? One! Name it! Melbourne! The head keeper at the Melbourne Zoo reported the most unusual birth today. Oh, this is good, because Chow Chow, Poo Poo and Cack Cack, what are their names? Uh, <laughs> Xiao Xiao and... They're, they're dead. <laughs> this one's alive. How, yes, the Melbourne Zoo? Beware. <laughs> Always beware of a Greek be bearing tears. <laughs> the head keeper of Melbourne Zoo reported the most unusual birth today. Apparently last year a male giraffe broke into the yak enclosure and Humpty McGumpty one of the female yaks. <laughs> the keeper says they don't know what kind of animal they've got but you can milk it standing up. <laughs> Good night.